guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have something very exciting, as you can tell by the title. Um, I have my box of crayons, my box of crayons eyeshadow palette. I finally got one. Love that it is black owned. Um, and I just want to support her and her business. I mean, she is booming anyway, the whole crayon case brand. Um, so I just wanted to support and get it. It looked amazing. These are the colors, if you have no idea. A box of crayons. And like, these are huge shadows. The quality is amazing. And I believe this huge palette with all these shadows was under $30 or less I, I forgot exactly how much I paid for it but I created this look I really had no idea like what to create this um, inspiration was completely me so inspired by me I just kind of went for it. I didn't know I have some green it's like a cut crease and then there's purple at the bottom because I wanted to have purple because purple is my favorite color and then I have yellow as brow bone highlight and I use the gold um, the gold shadow as a highlight and I accidentally on this side I accidentally dipped into the silver but then I went over with the gold and so I had to like even it out so I put a touch of silver but it's mostly gold that you can see for the highlight um I will list everything that I used below I really like how this look came out like I'm getting better with the cut creases I also use blush from this palette so even though it is an eyeshadow palette you grown you can do whatever you want to do with these eyeshadows i use the pink and the red for a soft touch of blush like and highlight i love doing that with eyeshadows so anyway if you want to, oh what was that so anyway if you want to see how i created this look first of many i'm using the box of crayons by the crayon case go ahead and keep watching don't forget to subscribe if you have not thank you for all my new subscribers I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Comment below. Check out the description for everything in my vlog channel. And okay, enough talking. Keep watching. So let's get started. I'm using the lime green. And I'm using it in my crease. Um, I think my husband called me then. That's why I am on the phone. But I am blending. And this look, it requires lots of blending. That's why I sped up. Um, different portions of it just to speed up this video or else we'd be here for a full hour plus because that's about how long this look took me this look took me a minute but <clears throat> excuse me I'm taking the lime green color and I'm putting it in like my transition area and I think I'm gonna do like a cut crease that's why I'm going in that shape um, like kind of encircling the eye like a cut crease but a spotlight type of look as you guys saw in the beginning now I'm going in with that green that I showed you guys and I'm just going over where I put the put the lime green and I'm just blending 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 and I'm completely like making it up as I go like I have nothing I'm looking at I have no idea what I wanted to do but I know I just wanted it to be colorful so that's what I am doing and I'm taking this brown color and I'm kind of creating the base for the spotlight effect um darker on the inner and outer corners of the eye kind of really giving the eye a more 3d <laughs> 3d like uh rounder effect um so the center is highlighted and it stands out more and looks more round and bigger so that's what i'm doing on either side um of my eye well both eyes excuse me sorry for the background noise it's storming and it's, it's just there's just noise in the background so sorry about that so i'm just going back and forth blending i would say this part took the longest because and this was the point where i wasn't sure how this look was going but now i took my white eyeshadow base by nyx and i am putting this down so the white color that i put really stands out it's a shimmery white if you have the crayon case box of crayons palette too you know their white shade is a shimmery one of their shimmery shades so i'm putting this white base down and, and then i'm kind of creating that shape where it's a little bit larger um at the top but um it kind of tapers and you'll see i'm just perfecting this shape 
dancing a little bit, as you can hear. <laughs> and then I am um, just really creating that shape that where it's, I don't know how to explain it exactly, but now I'm setting that shape with um, the white shimmery shadow. Um, I'm just packing it on so I get it really vibrant. I sprayed my brush with my makeup setting spray. I'm just really packing it on and then trying to keep it really clean so it's a really defined cut crease. And I'm just going over it and speeding this up because I'm telling you this video would have been like two hours long. Speeding it up and um, packing the color on, really keeping that shape. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. And then you'll see in a second, I take the brush where I used the dark brown and using it on the outer and inner corners, just kind of softening the transition from the white in the center of the lid to the brown on the sides. Um, and I just kind of go back and forth with those two just to make it a little bit softer, but still kind of um, keep that shape. And then I kind of tweak the shape so I can get it as even on both eyes and um, get the shape that I was kind of looking for for that. Um, and yes, blending. Blending is so important in this type of look. Bright colors, well, every kind of look, but I feel like in bright looks especially. And so now, the next thing I'm going in with is the black. And I'm kind of just pressing it on. I'm really not scared, but really cautious because you can always add, but you cannot take away. So I'm just going in really cautiously um, with black, slowly building it up. Um, and I just kept going back and forth just to deepen it a little bit so it kind of cooled down the warm, the warmness of that brown that I had on first. So just blending, spinning, blending. And then I'm taking this clean brush and blending that harsh line of the first color that we have on the green just so it's smooth and um, really blend it out nicely so I can go on with my highlight color um, under my brow bone and I decided to go in with the yellow sorry I didn't show you but I just wanted to do something a little different so I'm packing on the yellow and I always put my brow bone highlight I always start at the arch and then blend in both directions downward <clears throat> so it's a nice like soft gradient um, really highlighting the brow bone which lifts the eye. In this case, it's yellow, so it's not really like lifting, but it's a fun color. Look how bright that is. I was looking at it. <laughs> um, just packing it on, and then now I'm kind of blending it up a little bit, making sure it's even, it's brightness. I'm going to put a bright color. Looking back now, I feel like I should have done a white, but I'm doing a concealer, that I, the same concealer I used to crack on my eyebrows and to highlight. Um, I'm packing that color, that concealer on as a base for the purple that I'm going with. And I know I'm showing you after the fact that I already have the purple, but I just wanted to show you. So I'm taking that same brush and kind of packing it on. And I really had to go back and forth with it because I should have got a different brush. So I was kind of clinging on to the concealer that was already on that brush. But this color is pigmented, so it was fine. I um, just went all the way from the inner corner of the eye to the outer corner under the eye. And the finished look, you can see I have lashes and I have bottom lashes as well. Because I really wanted this look to pop, you know. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, I'm just packing this purple on, and then I go on to do the other eye as well. Pretty self-explanatory. And I'm speeding it up because you guys get the picture with this. And you can do this with any color. I've done this a lot with a neutral eye at the top and then just a pop of color at the bottom. So now I'm just taking another brush and blending it out. Just softening it and I'm using this softer purple shade, the violet shade I want to say, to um, blend it out. 
Uh, I coughed on a little makeup setting spray, but here is where I'm gonna dance and go into the blush and highlight, and I'm using the eyeshadow palette. So for the highlight, I'm just dipping into the gold shade. So I'm highlighting the usual places I highlight, and then I go on to do my cheek, and this the, the shadow is amazing, a good highlight. But I used silver just then, I don't know if you could tell. So I'm going back over it with the gold, and I'm just doing a touch of silver just to even it out on the other side. But these shadows, I know she has amazing highlighters. I'm definitely going to get me some. But using eyeshadow as a highlighter if you need to, you can definitely do. And I'm just taking a brush that I applied my foundation with just to blend it out. If it's ever harsh, there's a hard line for where you put your highlight. You can go ahead and do that and that helps blend it out. And now I'm taking the pink and the red. And I did those really softly just to add a touch of blush and my looks almost done i'm using max oh my goodness i forgot the shade <laughs> it's a deep burgundy color um but i am using that shade from mac check the description um all the information will be there um to line my lips i'm doing kind of like a deeper nudish vibe kind of i don't know how to explain it like a a plummy nudish vibe that's what I was kind of going for because I didn't want to do just a plain nude um but that's the kind of look I was going for um so it's in the nude family but it kind of has like a berry feel to it and then I just top it with a gloss because I'm really feeling glossy lips lately juicy glossy lips I mean you can't go wrong with that and I was a uh, the shade Tiramisu by NYX and that is so, it. So this is the finished look. I know you guys saw it in the beginning a little bit and I had a super long intro. Well, not super long but talking more than usual. Um, and so this is the finished look. I'm really happy with it. Don't forget to go ahead and click here to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click here to check out this video that I think you guys might like. Um, also, subscribe so you don't miss any of my newer videos and check the description for all the information as well as my vlog channel go ahead and subscribe to that and i'll see you guys next time bye